Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you the best free alternatives to Adobe Photoshop. Every software mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. Everything is 100% free and it's available on a variety of different OSs, including Windows, Linux, and Mac. I will state on screen which is for which. And like I said, download links are in the description down below. But yeah, enjoy the video. The first software we're going to be looking at is GIMP and GIMP is probably one of the most recognized photo editing softwares behind Photoshop. It's completely open source and 100% free. It has all the flexibility of Photoshop, but it just looks a little bit less clean. But don't let looks deceive you in this case. It's just as powerful and it's just as amazing. As you can see right now, I'm making the most beautiful text on top of bell peppers. Yeah, it's pretty good. T trust me. The next on the list is Kurita and Kurita is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. And before I get into this, I should have mentioned at the start, I really do not know these softwares very well. I just are very good for what they do and uh, that they offer a lot of range and availability that is not Photoshop for free. Now Kurita I think is mainly used for painters and drawing and artists, but it is still a very nice software and I'm sure once you get the hang of it, you can make some nice stuff in it. So I want to apologize for the lack of what I can hear, but I didn't want to invest a crazy amount of time to learn each of these softwares to be able to make something because I still use Photoshop primarily, but these are very, very good alternatives. And as you can see, Kurita is lovely and you can make some cool patterns with it. It has a gradient and layers. That's all you need. <laughs> The last software on this list is paint.net. Now don't let the simplicity of this fool you. It's one of simple softwares and it is only available on Windows. It is probably one of my favorite gradient systems. It actually shows a live preview as it's doing it. It's not a perfect live preview, but it's better than some other softwares. Photoshop doesn't give you anything. There might be a setting in software you can turn that on in Photoshop, but I like that it has this by default. The text options are a little bit awkward with this, but I'm still, I'm quite impressed by this. It has come a long way from when I've used it a few years ago and it didn't even have have a layer system now like i said the only downfall is really that it is only on windows but it is still a nice handy software i think uh, out of everything i've made today this is probably one of the favorite like little bits of text i've made um it was just a simple gradient with like a little checkered background or checkered overlay on top of it and i think it looked pretty good but anyway guys there have been the three editing softwares photo editing softwares that you can get for free if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and if you know any of your friends that are looking for free softwares be sure to send this over to them but anyway guys thank you so much for watching drop a like if you enjoyed it and if there's any tutorials you want to see with any of these softwares or anything in general let me know i'll learn how to use them properly and i'll make them over here in the channel anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy Peace.